they're out of Palm Beach. Uh, the owner was actually raised right in Loxahatchee. And like I said, these guys are very, very good at what they do. They comply to our own safety rules. They're, they're, the work speaks for itself. We did, we, did, we, did, we did 16,000 feet of main last week on, in, in Lake Worth Phase 2 and Phase 3 alone. So we did three miles in a week. It's pretty. So my understanding is if you're um, converting over from something or you're looking to do this and you don't have gas now, hmm. it's a good time to call. What if there's a certain number, I'm sure, that don't have gas at all and don't have an account with that to you? What if they decide six or 12 months from now that they want to do it? Is there a disadvantage to doing it later as opposed to now? Well, it probably won't be them doing it. Then yeah. they'll be out of the area. It'll yeah. be our local contractor that will be doing it. Yeah. And uh, it depends. This might not have the same rebates. Okay. It may it cost up something extra because we have to send a crew out there now special to do it. Yeah, we've only had a couple of those instances come up that I know of from, from like Anchorage up in North Palm Beach. Um, the, 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 the logistics and the savings is because we're already there. Okay, so um, if a customer doesn't have a supply line run from the main, They'd have that done. They also have to get it inside the house in the appropriate area. So you guys would take we, care of that. We have energy partners that we work with. It's they're on our, listed on our website that you can contact to do your fuel line and that, that sort of thing. It's your choice of who you pick. Right. People have any questions about anyone here tonight about landscaping replacement and like that? So the, the pipe is being run on both sides of the street, like north and south, or just no. one side? No, right now it's just one side. So it seems to be most of the north sides, at least from the streets that I've seen. So then that goes, what, underneath the street mm -hmm. to the customers on the west, mm -hmm. on the south side? Mm -hmm. It will actually, we'll, we'll use a smaller, we'll use a smaller directional drill rig. Um, we'll spot all of the utilities, and we'll set up where it's convenient to set the rig for least amount of either pedestrian traffic or impact traffic as a whole on the street, but we'll bore right there from the riser and pull the pipe right back to the main so we're less holes we have to dig. But you do have to get from the north side underneath the street mm -hmm. to the south mm -hmm. side, mm -hmm. then to the house. Mm -hmm. It may require digging a small hole in the street to spot whatever utilities, the sewer, yeah. the water. By law, we have to spot everything that's located. And even if it's not located and there's <coughs> evidence that something would be there, uh, patching the road, uh, crack that just doesn't look like it should be there. We have to, by law and by our own safety policy, we have to spot everything. We have to visually see it before we can cross it. We, it's illegal for us to, to blind boards, the term they use. It puts too many people at, at jeopardy and liability. Any other landscaping questions? No? Okay. Well, I guess the, the general question is that everybody in the neighborhood has asked me when is all this stuff going to be fixed? Because they, you know, they, they dug up a, uh, I was out there when they were doing the directional drilling. Emily set up, and they, they dug a, 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 a four foot long, two foot wide, about uh, four foot deep hole in the front yard, and in the neighbor's yard, and broke her sprinklers and everything. Mm -hmm. But I was there, and they fixed it. Mm -hmm. They did fix it before the day, well, before two days were out. Uh, but then just kind of came, and just kind of, at the end of the day, dumped a whole bunch of stuff in, threw the grass in, everything died, so right down the street you got dead patches going on. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, I can tell you, we have a lot of people that walk their dogs up and down the neighborhood, oh. and that's all they can complain about. Is, you know, we got dead grass, we got huge holes in the ground, and, and everybody, and, and I, I realize that you probably have to come at the end of the project, but, but I, I guess what will that be like, and are you committing and promising us that that will be done? Oh, absolutely, it has to be done. I can't close a project out if it's not complete and the restoration is part of the project. We won't do final grade restoration where we put in, if we have to do select soil or topsoil or sod until all work, either in the right of way or to the home, is complete. Because it, it's, it's gonna die, we're gonna have to dig it back up. Um, anything that gets broken, sprinklers really can't be located. I mean, they're half-inch PVC, they break like that. We replay all that stuff on the spot. If we break something that we didn't know, we had a system before, we actually drove into a swale just to park our truck, and the system was old enough that it collapsed, phone call, no problem, we came out, we fixed it. They will put, our guys will put, they'll backfill the holes, make them safe. Excuse me, generally they'll leave them a little high. When we do get the wet season, that, when that, you know, it'll, it'll settle. What we don't want to have is sinkholes. We'll constantly come back through and monitor the situation. But when the job is done, before we are done with the project, we will come through every single street 
every home, any hole that was excavated by us or disturbed by us, we'll be back to existing or better than condition before we leave. Is one project College Park? So when College Park is finished? Actually, College is Park is part of one project, yeah. Okay, so until College Park is completely done, you wait to put the final touches on the repairs? Majority, okay. majority. The street repairs you'll start so to how see. Long does that take? It's, 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 very, it's a really fast process. It's very much like we do our installations. We have a restoration crew that comes behind us. Uh -huh. Our sidewalk, yeah. um, as soon as we know we're done in the sidewalk or driveway aprons, we'll, if we don't have to go back in an excavation, we will repair them lickety split. Because yeah. we want them done, the city ha we gotta keep the city happy too. Uh, the asphalt repairs, we have to coordinate that with the city. Um, we want those done as well, as long Could as we're please run complete. Some lines down all of our alleys <laughs> we actually have a lot of alleys going on right now. Um, but yeah, as far as the restoration goes, um, it's going to get done. And as a homeowner, I know the trepidation and waiting because it looks like they came through, they tore up my yard. It's been a month when we're six blocks away heading this way. And then it'll literally, will go right by and the restoration clues comes right in behind us. Is there a phone number or an email address that people can, when people stop Lewis when he's out with his dogs, he can say, call this number and they'll make sure that you get done when they do it? There is. We actually are, we have been working with FPU on uh, a flyer that we're going to put out that's going on during construction. It's just a reminder that the construction process is still ongoing. Do you have that number? I do. I'll give it to you on my phone. Okay. I'm just cautious yet. Can, can okay. I interject on the restoration? Sure. I actually just was filling the dirt back into the hole from where they literally pulled up my new grass. Okay. And walking along, if anybody's walking on the sidewalk and they accidentally step off into the grass, they go into a crater and they will break an ankle. Yeah. It is not level. I've got, you walk in the grass and all of a sudden you dip down and then you go up and you go down. Where at? What's your address? Uh, Dartmouth. 308 Dartmouth. 308 Dartmouth? Okay. Yeah, and I just love I'll address that because they we've yeah. always leave the holes high. Well, it, it was sitting high. I mean, they put all, all sudden, the dirt in and then. Well, then I'll, you walk and then all of a sudden you just drop down. Yeah, see, I that's, mean, that's, that's it. like one of them was next to the water line, the sprinkler line, and I know the sprinklers haven't turned on yet. Okay. And, uh, I'll address and that. The grass is already pretty That's much That's exactly the type of stuff I'm looking to hear okay. on a daily basis because yeah, that's the and stuff I'm looking I spoke with a guy today that he was doing it and he said that okay, he'll, he'll come yeah. back by okay. later and replace the dead grass. Right. Well, we got specialty grass. I mean, it doesn't We'll replace it. Before, you do? Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, we, we, it sawed. The zoysia? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it pretty much, I mean, whatever it is, we replace it because FD replaces it. All right, I was just making sure because it is a safety. Yeah, <coughs> yeah that's, that's, what, that's more what I'm concerned yeah. about is if it's not backfilled properly. Right. That's the key thing. That's why we leave them high because they'll settle. People walk on them, the dogs walk on them, the kids are playing. We don't want anybody tripping, falling, getting hurt. Yeah, and this so, is literally right next to the sidewalk yeah, and it's already, that's, she, she's already twisted her ankle. The majority of the number that, I, that I'm going to leave, I know that's going to be the first questions, calls, or comments that I get, which okay. that's what I want. Um, I mean, I want all the questions, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But I want to make sure that because the process is so fast, yeah. if there's a thousand holes and one of them isn't done right, in my opinion, it's not right. Okay. So if people have a concern about that, they should definitely Absolutely. say so right at the Absolutely. top of the message. Okay. Absolutely. A uh, big sinkhole that's opened up at the corner of Greenmore and Lakeside. Speak up, Joseph. Uh, at the fire hydrant, about a five foot section of sidewalk has snapped off and it's about eight inches deeper than really it broke it's it snapped off the side. Do you, do, just out of curiosity do, did, they they have a, yesterday. did they have a machine on i wasn't there during the day but i walked my dog there twice a day so i know when that was there in the morning yeah, that sounds like a bigger problem evening, but honestly the whole sidewalk was just was caved in what was the other lakeside and Bryn Moor. lakeside and Bryn Moor. Bryn Moor. at the fire let me make a note uh is that on the west side of the street it is on the west side of the street, by the fire hydrant. Yeah. Well, I thought to to tell us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what was your address? Uh, it's that. really Dartmouth. It's the corner of Dartmouth in Pennsylvania. Got it. So, I gave him a map. Yeah, it's the north side. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been marked. Joseph, what's the address there? Um, it's not my home. Uh, it's the corner of Lakeside and Greenmore, where, and there's only one fire hydrant. Okay, that's that one. I will make sure the crews take care of this, both Bill, of these issues, first thing in the morning. I'm going to stop by there. I'm going to too. I'll drive by both of them, but I definitely want to make sure that any safety issues.